Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. What's going on, guys? It's Tweaky with Tech Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. Hopefully, you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, very quick recap. Nothing special today. I'm a little bit under my goal of my $500 to $750 a day. I'm about $200 under what my daily goal is. Uh, last week, we had an absolute amazing week. I want to make sure that I focus on that, so I don't want to overtrade today. I've been trading one stock, and I'm going to show you guys, for those that follow me on Instagram, uh, I've been showing screenshots of my overall like position and stuff like that. I just locked in another $100. Um, just very small trades, very small positions, um, less than three to 400 shares. Well, around three to 400 shares of TNDM. Um, I'm only, I, like forget about how much I'm up and, and the overall stock itself, like that's relevant. Um, I've been following a very simple characteristic about TNDM today. I'm gonna talk about like why I traded it, why I found it to be so attractive, why I sold, and I think certain key points that uh, will actually benefit you other than just hearing the, the money, right? So I really do hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys learned something new or actually just found the video entertaining, we'd really appreciate the thumbs up. If not, I totally understand. You guys definitely don't have to. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna start sharing my screen. So as you guys can see, the total profit for today, I'm gonna move this a little bit. Uh, total profit for today is a little bit over $300 on one stock and that's TNDM. Um, for those that were following me uh, or, or watching me trade live today, if you're part of Learn Plan Profit, obviously you get to watch me trade live every morning. Um, and TNDM had a really nice push up. I locked in a little bit over $200 profit. I kind of just walked away. Um, not too sure how many of you guys experienced this today, but my TOS was not working. Um, the entire live stream, um, maybe not until the very end, I think the last five, 10 minutes of my Learn Plan Profit live stream this morning, which is about an hour long, uh, TOS was just glitching out. It's, again, it's a software. It has these issues. So yes, we can complain. Uh, the biggest thing that I just did was I called TD Ameritrade, confirmed that it was a bug on their side, 100%. I just wanted to make sure that my account was all good and standing. Um, and that's really just it. I, I, my TOS was not working and I locked in profits. I walked away and now I'm back. I, it looked like it was updating a little bit. So um, I'm going to talk about why I took a position at around uh, 43.50 and why I sold. So if you're part of Learn Play Profit and Tech Solutions, I just called it out that it is locked in profits uh, on my TNDM position. All right, a little bit over $300. I'm gonna move this uh, right on over here. Um, so what is it um, on my last trade? So the one that I just took, I only had 300 shares. So it should be able to show right here. So filled at 43.83, right? So um, yeah, 300 shares total is what I had. What is it? that led to my success on this trade, right? Obviously it was not a huge trade, it was from um, you know, uh, 4350 uh, to about 4384, so a little bit under 1% profit. Um, and then the position that I held from last week, right? I had about, I think 500 shares, if I'm not mistaken, or 400 shares uh, at an average price of around 43.54, if I'm not mistaken, or 43.50 flat. I um, mean, you guys can check last week's video altogether. Uh, the Learn Plan Profit Group saw me lock in profits on that one. I walked away uh, just because my TOS was not updating. So when it came down to wanting to take a position, what's why for a day trade? And I want you guys to, if it's okay, um, I want you guys to work with me on this one. As a day trade, what are the, what is the almost the number one indicator? If something is actively trending up, what do I need it to uh, to be trading in between? Um, can you guys help me out with that? So if something is showing signs of an uptrend intraday, so within the one day, one minute chart, um, what is it that I look for? So what like top and middle view up? Well, Fredo, perfect. Top and middle view up. All of you guys know that, right? Um, here we go. We're getting another push up right now on TNDM for the break above 4.4. As you guys can see, it pushed up, sold off. The RSI looks super overextended. So yeah, 100%. So middle and top view up. That's what I look for. When something is showing signs of an uptrend, let me give you a quick little example. JNUG, showing signs of a downtrend. Middle, bottom view up, downtrend, right? TQQ, showing signs of an uptrend. It's green on the day, right? Middle, top view up, right? ADB, showing signs of an uptrend on the day, right? Middle, top, view up. That makes sense, correct? You guys, up on the day, middle, top, view up. It trades in between the two indicators. I have a whole video in the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library talking about that, why I utilize that specific indicator. It doesn't mean that you have to use it or if it doesn't work well for you. Again, we're all wired in different ways. I'm just sharing my opinion, right? Um, so that's one of the characteristics that I really liked about it. What, what is something else? 
that I could like about TNDM. It's overall direction. If you look at the 180 day chart, it's an ongoing uptrend. It had a pretty solid sell off and it's showing signs of a potential reversal. So it's showing signs of potential recovery with its overall direction pointing up. If I want my account to grow, then that makes sense on why I then should start investing in stocks that their patterns are moving up, right? So if I want my account to grow, does it make a lot of sense to invest in something like, like TOPS? Probably not right? Or if I want to invest in something long term, right? Does this make sense to invest in something like that or HMNY, right? Heck no. If I want to lose a lot of money, then yes, of course, I'd love to invest in HMNY, right? So again, invest in patterns that and directions in which you understand and that are in your favor. And to me, that was TNDM on the 180 day chart and on the one day, one minute chart. I felt like I have double positives there, right? Um, and when it came down to the last position that I just took at around 43.50, why is it at 43.50 that I found that to be you know, a, a good buy. So what is it that I currently, you know, that, that you can currently see with its current pattern? So forget about, so forget about everything else that I just talked about. What about at around 43.50? Like, why would I want to buy around this general area? Why? Can you guys help me out with that? I want to know, like, what is it? So if I'm trying to look for, you know, a potential like support level, what around 43.50 is validating to be a support? SMA was a support, 100%. Look at this SMA indicator, this green line that you see right here, showing signs of every time that it pushes up and becomes overextended at around $44, right? So I like to identify my support and my resistance, right? Where I want to buy and the area of where I want to sell. Look at the rejection, 44, 44, 44, right? So when it's sold off, and it normally bounces at around 43.50. Doesn't mean that it has to, but it means that it can, right? So it bounced here around 43.50. I felt like I was getting a good deal intraday, right on the one day, one minute chart. And it started showing signs of an uptrend, right? And it started, it started really consolidating right around the SMA indicator. And it could go either way, right? So that's why you know I could follow with this stop loss or I could hold it and hope that it goes up, right? Uh, but based on previous patterns, it's direction was moving up, it was showing signs of an uptrend, it was trading between the middle and top view off, and it was holding above the SMA indicator. I felt like I got in for a good buy, right, around 43.50, which acted as a support, and then once I got the alert that it broke above 43.80, that's when I decided to release my shares, right? 300 shares is what I had. If you guys do the math, that's not, based on my normal position, that's usually on the lower end of, of what it is that I normally trade with. I trade with normally about 15 to $25,000, depending on what it is that I'm trading. Uh, but again, it was a day trade. I didn't see too much value in the margin of profit that it had to offer. Yes, I could have gotten a little bit more aggressive. It was more of the purpose of like, I didn't want to miss out on TNDM and I just wanted to lock in profits, right? So 43.50 and then once it approached that $44 resistance based on previous patterns, um, one thing that I, the key indicator that I focused on today was the MACD. So as it was approaching and as it was pushing up when it got closer to 40 uh, to 4380, uh, there's two things: the RSI indicator, the MACD indicator, and previous patterns. Based on previous patterns, there was a resistance at around $44 all day. So yes, the potential for it to make higher highs is possible, but I also have to take into consideration that it has been rejected at that price point about three times before getting to the to the point of where it wa where I was. So why did I sell where I sold? The RSI indicator, the peaked out MACD, right? And also, so I mean, the MACD was very overextended. I didn't think that it was gonna go this high, so right as we broke above 43.80, I was like, okay, it looked very overextended, the RSI looks very overextended, and we're approaching a, a price point in which it's a little bit more on the overbought side. I'm just explaining why I sold. There should be a reason why you buy every single day and why you sell every single day. And if there's not, then that's an area of opportunity that you might wanna work on. And I just wanted to share mine with you. Forget about how much money I made, forget about how much I'm trading with, focus on patterns and what makes sense to you. And, and if nothing is working according to your plan, if you can't find a good deal where the opportunity cost is worth it, where the margin of profit is worth it, or the overall direction or pattern or criteria, it's just not in your favor. One of the best things that you can do is what? Not take a position. And, and that's for everyone, right? If nothing is going according to plan, let's focus on quality and not take a position. Um, I saw opportunity on TNDM. I, I liked the direction in which it was moving. And I knew that, I mean, I'm personally not under the PDT rule. So I was able to leverage that, right? And then, you know, take that position. But again, I just wanted to talk about what led to my success. I wanted to talk about what indicators I utilize uh, to get a better understanding of when it was at a good area to sell. Obviously, I missed out on quite a bit, right? So at 
I saw that 43.83, right? And it pushed up to above 44.20. That's almost 1%. And, you know, that's, that's quite a bit of, that's almost like double, right, of, of what I could have made. So I could have made a potentially $200 on that position. So I would have been up $400 on the day. And that's, that's really just it. So I already answered this question, bud. So I hope that's okay with you. Uh, but look, now the MACD is showing signs of a potential reversal again, right? The overall pattern, the SMA line, it's acting as a support. I'm going to give it a little bit more time for it to see if it can continue to hold and push up. And if so, I might take another position on it. Uh, but again, altogether, um, I'm not trading um, with a lot today. Uh, I don't see huge opportunity. There's a couple stocks that we talked about within the Learn, Plan, Profit live stream today that I'm really looking forward to uh, for this upcoming week. I'm going to be sharing a couple of them in my later live stream today. But other than that, you know, um, I just I don't want to over trade and I want to make sure that I have my capital available uh, tomorrow or the day that follows once these stocks that I'm watching uh, end up being at their at their buy potential, right? Because right now they're at their good deal territory, uh, but I want to focus a little bit more on making sure that they get the confirmation of them pushing up. And yeah, yeah, that, that, that's really just it. So how's the Giga Blast internet? I don't know, you tell me. Are the stream qualities a little bit better? If so, then I think we're doing good. So uh, I don't want to take too much of your guys' time. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do and just watching this video. Um, hopefully you guys learned something new uh, with the indicators and how is it that I use them. Um, if not, uh, well, thank you for spending 11 minutes and 17 seconds with me, uh, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your Monday. Uh, let's keep it simple this week. Let's focus on those quality trades. Let's lock in those profits, um, and let's just have fun with it. So again, all the links are down below if you guys want to stay connected. The first link is if you want to watch me trade live and work with me a little bit on a closer basis. I'd love the opportunity to be a part of your success. Invest 30 seconds. Check that first link out in the description, um, or feel free to... Um, click the third link in the description, and that's for the uh, TechBud Solutions Facebook group. We have a little bit over 150,000 members. Again, it's free. Uh, if you're struggling to surround yourself with people that motivate you, we'd love the opportunity to be a part of your success as well. Um, thank you guys again. Continue working hard, continue following your dreams, let your passion be a challenge and your success, and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.